my workflow in Fusion 360. Import an image with the outline of the blade. Draw a sketch slightly bigger than the outline and model it according to the knife thickness. Extrude a box in the size off the wood you want to use. Place the top in the center line of your blade and subtract the blade from it. Mirror the wood for the left half of the saya. Now you have the models to generate the toolpaths. Set only the part you want to mill visible and got to manufacture. My setups are already finished, at first 2D facing with a 87mm face mill. Second adaptive clearing with a 10mm end mill, height steps are set to 0.2mm for a smooth finish, but this takes some time in machining. If the simulation looks ok, it is time to post the G-code. Select the post processor, I use the one for Centroid made by Swissy. It is available in the Centroid forum, post the G-code and load it into the CNC. Ready for milling. Facing the back side of the wood using the WMPG4 to control the mill. This is for me faster for this simple operation than to generate G-code. The back side must be perfectly flat so it can be clamped on the vacuum table to run the program made with Fusion 360. Automatic setting of part 0 with the KP3 CNC touch probe.
The part is hold down on a vacuum table for the milling operation. I am using a 87mm space mill with two inserts intended to be used for aluminum, but they are very sharp and also suitable for hardwood and this fine piece desert ironwood is very hard. Adaptive clearing with a two flute end mill. This end mill is featuring left hand flutes to get clean cuts on the edges and grains from the wood are ripped out. Spindle speed is only 6000 revolutions per minute, a router with a high speed spindle would be better for this job, but I have to use what I have. Now both parts are milled and the knife fits in snugly. Ready to glue them together and give the outside the final shape and polish. Knife is a sand my blade with. Vanitas 23. Core and stainless steel cladding. Heat treated to HRC 66. And etched to show off the diffusion effects from the forge welding. After gluing the halves together and some sanding and polishing, 
with chestnut micro crystalline wax the saya is finished because the halves are made from one block the grain is matching and it looks like one piece again a cnc mill is a nice addition for knife making maybe for a single piece not faster than work with conventional machines but it makes fun g code generated with fusion 360 runs on acorn cnc without modifications directly after posting for me fusion 360 and acorn is a good team for cam